Hey everybody. One of our subscribers, Brian from Massachusetts, sent us several cookbooks last year. And so I decided to try a, uh, a seafood recipe out of this one. It's the New England Clam Shack Cookbook. And what I'm gonna prepare or try to prepare is stuffed haddock. So join us in the kitchen and we'll see how it turns out. Now I'm getting all the ingredients ready now, so stick around and you'll get to watch me cook this for the first time. I've got my onion already chopped up. It says one small onion chopped. And unfortunately, the onions that we had were about the size of a small basketball. <laughs> Softball. <laughs> yeah. So I had to judge what a half of a, or a small onion looked like. So there it is. Yeah, we prefer the menus or the recipes that say like half a cup of this. Yeah, this one just says one small chopped onion, so we'll see how my uh, guessing goes. Most of our snow melted until last night because we'd had rain and some warm temperatures. It was about 47 yesterday. And the wind chill this morning was 11 below zero, I think. Mm -hmm. And we got about an inch and a half, maybe two inches of snow last night, but it's it's nothing to be concerned about. And then this is it's a little depressing. <laughs> this is Thursday, and Saturday it's supposed to be in the fifties. None of the weather people said it was going to snow yesterday evening. Well, that's the best job in the world. You can, that's why you can go so to work. <laughs> you can go to work, miss the calculations completely. <laughs> still have a job. <laughs> still have a job, not have to uh, worry about being inaccurate because you just got to say, well, that's nature. Yeah. But yeah, had they told us yesterday it was going to snow this morning, I might have would have been more prepared for it. But when we woke up and there's two inches of snow on the ground, the trees are full of snow. It's a winter wonderland, beautiful. Yeah, it is but I beautiful. I was like, gosh, I can't. And I think the reason that two inches of snow had such an impact on muffin is because it's supposed to be spring. Uh, we thought it was over with. Normally two inches of snow is, if it's winter time here, two inches of snow is a little more than a frost to us here. Somebody in the audience back in there, kind of <laughs> backseat driving, <laughs> armchair <laughs> chopping. Yeah. Okay. Next thing I have to do is get a half pound of small or they refer to it as salad size, peeled and deveined shrimp. It says if you're using a larger shrimp, coarsely chop. I'm gonna coarsely chop. Taking the doors. Now, 
if you want to, sir. there's a little bit of cocktail sauce in there, and it looks <laughs> like there's three a piece for us. Okay, so I'll have those in a minute. Or you can make them now. Well, we could do it now. If you want we can do it right now. There's no <laughs> sense in putting it on. Okay. I'm melting the butter. Okay. I'm still melting the butter. That's just my hang up. I check dates on everything. December 2024. Ooh, I think we'll be okay. I think I'll live with it. <laughs> Are those like full size pieces, right? Yeah. Okay. That's oh, that's good. I got something in the grocery store the other day, picked it up and looked at it and checked on the date. And it was like two weeks ago and, it, and the date ran out in October 2023. So it's a good habit to be in. Oh yeah. Mmm. Any, any good? Yep. It's not poison? No, you gotta take the tail off. I won't get the tail off, don't oh. worry. <laughs> Two tablespoons. I must have okay. misread it, so uh, I'll get you another little bit. Okay. But I'm going to let this heat up before I put that in there. Oh, Lord, yeah. Sounds good. But in the meantime, I can get the rest of your mm -hmm. water. Mm-hmm. These are real handy to go on the handle of the skillet. And, uh, it doesn't take but one time grabbing that handle and your hand is about that color and you realize that you better put it on before you turn the <laughs> heat to it. All right, I'm going through again. Every time we walk by the window here in the kitchen, we look out across the backyard and into the woods because when it snows and all the leaves are gone in the wintertime, you can see about 150 to 200 feet in the woods. And I'm all the time looking for some animal that I never see. There's, no there's one footprints, but they're never here. Yeah, there's footprints. <clears throat> we have invisible deer. Uh, invisible link, the missing links. <laughs> but uh, once in a while we'll see a, a ditch chicken. 
that's what mainers, a lot of mainers refer to as a uh, grouse because they hang out in the ditches and eat gravel. And uh, they, they call them the ditch chicken. When we had our house inspected, the guy came up and uh, he was from probably a hundred miles away. And uh, he said he was going back to back roads hunting for ditch chickens. I said, what in the Calhoun is a ditch chicken? And he said, a grouse or partridge, they call them. <clears throat> so let me just ask you. Yes. So you're putting the butter in the pan in a minute, and then what are you doing? Olive oil, and then I gotta put, okay. I gotta put the onions and the vegetables and uh, fry them about six to eight minutes until they get soft. Okay. And uh, that's as far as I got in my book. Oh, so you're gonna have to put this, oh, is it gonna go in the skillet into the oven or a pan? No, uh, eventually I will have four pieces of haddock. Okay. And all this mixture, I'll, I'll probably put it on parchment. Okay. And you butter the, the bottom side of the haddock. Okay. Set two, pieces down. Okay. Put the stuff on top of it uh -huh. that I had in the skillet. Yeah. Put two more pieces on top. Oh, okay. Like a sandwich. Butter. Yeah, like okay. a sandwich. Okay. All right. So we're going to have like a haddock sandwich. Well, <laughs> yeah. All right. So the first thing I add is onion, zucchini, and mushrooms. Okay. And then I cook over medium to high heat stirring often until the vegetables are softened and lightly brown, about six to eight minutes. Then add the shrimps, Old Bay seasoning, and cook, stirring until the seafood is just cooked through, about three to four minutes. Remove the heat. So you need a teaspoon and a half, I think, of the Old Bay. I did not get you the teaspoon from over there. Okay, let's see what I And need. I don't know how much paprika you need either, so I didn't get that. Oh, let's see here. Oh, my pan is really hot. Oh, sure <laughs> enough, it is. Nobody said anything. <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> They're probably yelling, the pan's overheating. All right, baby, you want to salt and pepper your fish so they're yes. happy? Gotta be a tong out there, and you can flip them over without having to touch the fish. Mm -hmm. Grab a tong and go a three. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna grab my butter.
or large glass baking dish, generously with melted butter. All right. So, okay, and am I also buttering the tops of these two? Season the fish fillet on both sides with salt and pepper. Okay, do that. Place fillet in each dish or arrange four in a baking dish. Cover with stuffing. So now I have got to add this. I got to cover all. Well, yeah. Not to that. To this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's read that again. Oh, okay. So I gotta put these in the dish. It says, uh, arrange your, let's see. Add the rich cracker crumbs and season, uh, oh. remove from heat, add the rich cracker crumbs and season to taste with salt and pepper. Oh, oh, oh okay, I missed that part. Okay, gotcha. So, Season the fish on both sides with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Place a fillet in each, oh, in the bottom of the dish, arrange in the dish. Make an even layer and top with, and top with, top with the remaining fillets. So what oh. we could do is cut these in two. Okay. And put some in just, and we'd have. I wish they showed you a picture. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's do that. Okay. Yes. Let me find you somewhere to set it. A rubber glove or. or no. Oh, okay. Maybe I can do it with a fork. Oh, okay. I also need to find you a paper plate or something to set that off on Down which way? It's fine. Okay. All right, let's go see what we're doing. stuffing and press it <coughs> in to make it an even layer mm -hmm. and then I'll brush with the rest of the butter there and then bake for 20 to 30 minutes and garnish with lemon <laughs> it says bring to room temperature no that's if you refrigerate right, that stuff yeah, or not. bring it to or put it in the microwave and I thought well <laughs> Yeah, that was when you made it the day before. Yep. Okay. You want a big spoon yeah. or something? Okay. <laughs> says if it spills out, don't worry.
bake and abbreviate the oven until the fish is opaque in its thinnest, in its thickest part, and the stuffing is heated about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of the fish. Garnish with lemon wedges. Okay, so good deal. It's ready to go in. Yep. Next stop, the oven. <laughs> Put it in for 25. Well, folks, here's the finished product with the stuffed haddock. And along with the stuffed haddock, we're going to have asparagus. And shortly hereafter will be the taste test. All right, let the taste test begin. Is it good, really? I'm not even gonna lie to you and tell you that it's not good <laughs> so I can have your piece. Yeah, it's good. Okay, it's my turn. Looks terrific. Okay, I'm gonna do my lemon a little bit here. Try not to get my eyeball. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is lovely. It feels like I'm at a fancy restaurant. You are. You're at, <laughs> you're at Daddy T's Clam Shack. Okay. That looks good. It's real steamy. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Really hot, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome, very good. Perfect meal.